Hello my soccer universe. Well, we are talking about the big soccer world today. Um, what are UEFA's plans going forward? We talked a lot about the leagues um, uh, last few times and UEFA stands is still that first the leagues have to be finished. But before we go there, um, and despite me wearing one of the huge teams uh, pumped up by a lot of foreign money, and I know Newcastle might join that part soon as well, we will see. Um, story from the lower leagues and uh, in particular Serie B. Have you seen the design by Luigi for the Pescara special jersey. If not, I'm posting it here. Um, needless to say, I need this one. <laughs> I love the idea to have kids design the special jersey and then I have to say the final design pretty darn good. And I also have to say that I actually like, uh, you know, regardless of the fit, but I like what um, Luigi designed better than the actual uh, jersey. I think the dolphin looks better, I think the rainbow looks better, but still, um, that one with having two girls at home, they will love the jersey. Yes, we could do with a different soccer ball, but for me, that was my uh, best news of the day. The other news, of course, are that Gazzetta dello Sport, seemingly, has leaked the plans for UEFA. Um, and it's still kind of vague, but we are uh, getting some ideas. First of all, UEFA wants to finish the national leagues and they have priority and they will look into special cases like Belgium. Um, or, you know, at least if there's some um directive of how to assign european spots in case there will be no games um i actually again going back to austria they uh, we know now a little bit about the report that has been said there that yeah they would recommend that if the season is not finished in principle especially for league two and so on um, no championship no uh, promoted team and no relegated team should be given for the championship they leave the door open since everyone has played everyone so this would fulfill uh, the base uh, requirement to assigning a Champions League spot uh, uh, assigning a champion however they also said that this current table could be used in case there needs to be determination that the current table is used to assign the European spot that they can uh, imagine which um, if we if last don't become champions, I would take that because that's a uh, European group stage guaranteed as well. Whereas if you uh, go then into the Champions League qualification, you're not going directly into the playoff. You have to start earlier, and if you lose there, you might actually not go anywhere. So maybe not the worst thing uh, to have there. But yeah, it would be also nice to have the whole season played. But I'm I know. Lask and Rapid would probably be the big benefactors from the league being stopped. Anyway, Champions League. Uh, what did Gazeta Little Sport leak? That, that it is not quite clear yet because we as in the, we have to finish the leagues. However, ideally the August will be Champions League and Europa League. Which I think is exciting in a way if you think about it. If everyone can finish by the end of July the leagues then the door would be open for the Champions League. Now, uh, Europa League is a little bit more complicated. They would say that the round of 16 should be played on the uh, 2nd, 3rd of August and then on the 6th of August because, you know, we have some first legs still to be, to, to, to be played. So that would be that. And then on the 7th and the 8th of August, we would uh, play the, round of the, uh, the remaining four uh, round of 16 matches for the Champions League. And then it's not quite clear whether you would play them every weekend of one-legged um, quarterfinals or semifinals or do you go Wednesday, uh, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday until the final, the final for uh, the Champions League is ideally on the 29th of August um, for the Champions League still in Istanbul and on the 27th of August in Gdansk. 
for the Europa League, so that is kind of sort of the plan could be uh, that is there. What is not very clear to me is um, how it is. I would say one-legged matches would make probably a little bit more sense because of travel, but where do you play them? Play them all in Istanbul. I mean, Turkey at the moment doesn't look all that happy with all the coronavirus, so still a lot of things up in the air there. And again, it has to be first approved. You have to see that all the European leagues can finish on time and so on and so forth. So, um, but at least there's an idea there. Also, we have on the 23rd of April, which I think is in two days, Thursday, um, the not only is UEFA meeting, but also the German league is meeting and um, they probably will not be able to decide yet when to restart, but however they give you, uh, they want to see a little bit more of how it could actually work out. So um, everything points to the middle of May that things start up again, but overall I think uh, we still have to wait on what governments are recommending. Anyway, let me know if you know, you know a little bit more about these plans, whether or if you want to add anything, let me know about the Pescara jersey, of course. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.